One student has tested positive for COVID-19 here at Whitney High School. The district says that student and nine other students who were in close contact with that person will have to be in quarantine until at least October 6th. In the meantime, they'll continue distance learning and that model was already set up. I'm not overly concerned. Emily Simmons child goes to Whitney High School two to three days a week for in person learning. As a nurse, she is very familiar with coronavirus. I knew that it was a possibility. I'm really glad that my kids back to school at least part time. I feel like he gets a lot better education when he's in school than online. We always want to keep our kids safe and it's it's a tough balance right now. Gabe Ortega's son also goes to Whitney High School and plays on the football team. I want him to experience the same things that we did when we were kids and you know, I trust the coaches and the staff. I think all parents are going to be concerned. Those are our children. We want them protected and we want them to stay safe. But I think it is very crucial for kids to be able to be back at school. I think with Whitney taking the precautions that they're taking, I think they're doing a great job. The whole thing's freaking me out, but we're just, you know, everybody's trying to do their best to keep the kids safe right now. Rockland Unified School District says they are working with Placer County Public Health on health and safety protocols in place. And in the meantime, the school will continue to remain open. In Rockland, Lisa Gonzalez, KCRA 3 News.